Yo right, guys, how are we all doing? It's Andy here from Peninsula Painting Projects and welcome back to the channel. Now guys, if you want to keep up to date with all my hobby and progress, why don't you come along and join Peninsula Hobby and Chill, meet some new friends, discuss the hobby and just have some fun while we're there. So let's get on with this video, let's unpackage this. <clears throat> so as we know this magazine retails at £7.99 if you don't know this by now you've been living under a rock because I, I always say it on every single video but I know that there will be new people watching the video <coughs> sorry I've got a tickly cough because of, of the, the weather going hot and cold all the time anyway let's look at the actual terrain itself so it's one big sprue. Um, it looks like a duplicate of itself. Now, I was looking on Games Workshop's website and for this set, it retails at 15 pound. Obviously we buy it for 7.99. So we're saving seven pound and a penny. So I've worked out, it's probably about 55 to 60% off recommended retail price, which is absolutely great. I don't care whether you want terrain or not, or you're clicking it, it's still a great saving. Now, that's one of the main reasons why I subscribe to this magazine. Unfortunately, my subscription has come to an end, but I'm still able to buy it from my local um, WH Smiths. But this is one of the main reasons why I wanted the subscription, not only because it's got amazing models, which, is, which some of them are very, very cheap. It's also got amazing Games Workshop terrain. And um, those of you who have seen my pictures on Facebook, you've seen a couple of like, you know, clips, uh, well, images from my battles and stuff, and you can see what terrain I've got on there already. And I can't wait to add this to it because by the end of this, uh, this, this um, magazine's finished, I'm gonna have pretty much a table, if not more worth of terrain and I'm, I'm made up about that because I've already got a bit of terrain anyway. So enough um, bobbing on about that, you know, can't wait to paint this up. I'm going to try and maybe, yeah, assemble it and then spray it, spray it silver, wash it, and then add some details. And I can't wait to try and highlight this. I might try and do either a dry brush or I might get the airbrush out and spray it. So I look forward to uh, tackling that. Uh, I actually... Since I've been watching YouTube and stuff, I've actually, I actually get more excited about terrain now than I used to, which is also a positive. So let's have a look at the magazine. <clears throat> I'm loving the blue, the different um, contrast of blue here, the dark blue, the light blue. So in this magazine, we're looking at, uh, obviously the thermic plasma regulators, the beasts of Nergal, which I'm sure we've already covered previously, and the armies of the Imperium, which would be interesting. So we've got the successor chapters of the Blood Angels. So we've got um, Angels, Sanguini, um, Flesh Terrors, that's one of the most common ones. And they're, they're pretty cool at the moment. They're, they're telling Gilliman that they don't want their Primaris in their army, which is quite good because it's sort of, um, it's Games Workshop acknowledging that the, the consumer isn't necessarily happy about the whole Primaris thing and we don't want the, the previous space means to be, you know, totally obsolete. So I'm glad that they've included that in, within the storyline. And then we've got the uh, Lamenters there, which um, yellow, yellow Blood Angel successor chapters. You know, it's a bit strange, isn't it? So there's a bit of more information. And now Beasts of Nergal, nice bit of artwork there. Absolutely disgusting, gross looking things. I would not like to meet one of them in a dark alley. Bit of information here. So we're just gonna have a little flip through this. Because obviously, if you if you like it, you should really buy it yourself. Like, um, so a nice bit of artwork there. And um, what else have we got? So armies of the Imperium. So we've got uh, Adeptus Astrates, Adeptus Ad Astra Militarum, Adeptus Mechanicus, and Grey Knights. And obviously, a nice bit of scenery here. See, well, scenic um, picture here. We've got some Imperial Guard aka Astra Militarum. We've got some Dark Angels. And what else? That's pretty, yeah. And we've got a knight there, so that'll be the um, 
Adeptus to Mechanicus. Now, I saw a picture that's it there. See those barrels there? Where they stuck them on top of each other and stuff. I'm actually considering doing that for um, for my, my table. So obviously it'll be quite big, the terrain there. So that's, that's pretty interesting, nice bit of um, some ideas that you can do there. You know, maybe team them up if you're collecting them yourself. So hope rekindled. So I'm presuming this is about Gilliman returning. I haven't met this yet, so I've, as you've just seen, I just opened it then. So the water in Arcadia, unfortunately Arcadia is no more, it got destroyed, which was um, one of the last defences of the Imperium. Uh, for Terra, I believe. So here's a bit more information here of the armies of the Imperium and the forces of chaos. Well, that's quite interesting. So Abaddon's Vanguard, Black Legion, Iron Warriors, Empress Children, Night Lords, Death Guard, Alpha Legion, World Bearers, and Legio Mortis. Hmm. Very interesting. So yeah. And then how to assemble your thermic plasma regulators. And as you can see, guys. Um, if you need instructions, um, sorry, but yeah, you shouldn't need instructions for this. Quite easy to put together. Maybe this might, might confuse people to where to put that, but yeah, it's not going to be hard, is it? That's obviously going to clip on there, I'm guessing, somewhere. But yeah, it looks pretty damn nice. So, how to glue it together. They're telling us to base it in the lead belcher colour. Lead belcher. So that's the silver, yeah. Okay. So it's used, telling us to use the big um, dry brush, which comes in handy. I personally probably will, will probably try and spray it silver. Saves a lot more time. And then obviously, not only wash over the top to darken it down, rack out flesh to do the little plinth there. And then some retributive armour. I personally would use some like a... Um, like a brassy colour, can't think of the name at the top of them head. Um, and then obviously doing a bit of red there. I might do, yeah, the red will, will um, you know, accentuate the blue, because they're, you know, opposite colours on the colour wheel. And then Celestial Grey to paint the skull. You know, we, we've got all these paints, and, and this is what we will end up with. Something looking like this, which I think looks pretty reasonable, to be honest. I'd be happy for that to be on my table. It looks pretty decent. And probably next week, we're probably going to learn... Well, next week, I say. <laughs> this week, we'll probably learn how to dry brush it with the um, Necrom... Was it Necrom compound? <clears throat> and then... It's telling us to incorporate the regulators into the board now. Which will be quite interesting. Oh, yeah. It's telling us how to conceal units behind it and stuff. And that's um, fuel for the forge. That's in current mission. And what do we get next week? We get another lead belcher refill. I personally got far too much Necron, Necron compound. Yeah, I'm always welcoming another dry paint. And the following week we got some scouts, which do you know they will come in handy, especially if you're a competitive player. Anyway, they'll definitely come in handy. I might grab a couple of these myself because my friend, one of the customers. It's also become a friend as well. He's a proper power player. So if I can field these two as my troops, two boxes of these as my troops, um, they're not gonna do much. They might be able to secure some objectives, but they're a little bit cheaper in points and a little bit more versatile as well in terms of getting onto the board quick. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, stay tuned, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, I'm hoping so it's Wednesday today. Hopefully Thursday I'll, up, I'll go and buy this week's magazine, upload it, and then we'll take a look at that. Nice one guys, and I'll see you soon. Draw.